All right, and here we are again with the first episode of this week's full week of working out series, where as always, I take you guys through my entire week of training and all my workouts so that you guys know exactly what I'm doing and the reasons behind them. And today is once again going to be the first episode. So my first push workout of this week. It's going to be a weighted calisthenics push workout focused around the weighted dips and it's going to be structured like all of my workouts aka two blocks of 10 minutes of skill training followed by about an hour of reps and sets to finish off today's workouts. As always, I'm going to put the entire workout down below in the description and without further ado, let's dive into the first block of skill training, which is going to be planche. And for my planche training, I'm going to do four sets of six seconds of band assisted advanced tucked holds with about two minutes of rest in between before finishing off with one more normal tucked planche hold. And this is going to be the first training block where I'm not going to do supersets on my planche training. I'm just going to focus on straight normal holds and trying to increase my hold time as my training block progresses. So the first week I started off with about four sets of six seconds and towards the end of this training block I would like to finish off with at least one eight second hold on my band assisted planche training. And in today's workout, I did this different progression, which was not an advanced tuck, but something in between an advanced tuck and a straddle planche, just to work my planche a different way and to kind of do something a little bit different, because I pretty much have been doing the advanced tuck every single workout for the last few months. And the goal now is to work my way back up towards full body weight advanced tucks before pushing for the straddle planche after that. And then after my planche training, we're going to be moving into some handstand training, which is going to consist of some freestanding handstand holds. And as you guys can see in today's workout, I had a very, very, very good day today. Got two holds in, which actually exceeded about 15 seconds. So I'm very, very happy with my handstand on this workout. And my handstand in general has been progressing quite well over the last few weeks. I've been getting 10 or 15 seconds consistently on my push workouts. So we're making very, very good progress. And the goal from now on is to pretty much keep progressing on my handstand by getting longer and longer holds. And also getting my handstand a lot more consistent. Because some days like today I get about 15 seconds consistently. And other days I get no holds at all. So first and foremost longer holds and obviously as well getting them a lot more consistent and then after my handstand training we can move on to the first exercise of my reps and sets which is going to be the weighted dip and on this exercise we're going to be doing a three by three or three sets of about three reps and this exercise is going to be my main focus within my training block if it comes to my push workouts and because I'm doing my push twice a week I'm gonna have one heavy day and one light day and today is going to be my heavy push workouts. And the way that I'm currently doing my weighted dips is I pretty much started off my training block about seven and a half kilograms below my three rep max. And I'm pretty much increasing the weight by two and a half kilograms every single week to work my way back towards my three rep max and then start making progress after that. And my first set out of the three is going to be the heaviest one where once again I'm going to try to increase the weight by two and a half kilograms every single week. And then my second and my third set are going to be slightly lighter to make sure that I can still hit a three by three in this workout. And the goal on this exercise is obviously to get stronger and that is why I'm doing very very low reps on this exercise and progressively overloading them throughout my training block. And then after my weighted dips, I'm going to be moving on to my deep ball handstand push-ups. Here we're going to be doing three sets of about five reps. And as you guys can see, I am no longer doing weighted ball handstand push-ups since I'm really trying to focus on my weighted dips in this training block. And I really don't want to have another very intense push exercise next to my weighted dips. 
and on this exercise I'm really trying to mimic the real handstand push-up as much as possible by really trying to lean in and put some body weight on my fingertips and trying to keep my body as aligned as possible once again to mimic the real freestanding handstand push-up. And I'm also doing these elevated to try and increase the difficulty on this exercise and also work my shoulders to a greater range of motion which hopefully is going to make the normal handstand push-up in time a lot easier. And those two exercises really are the core of my push workouts and after those six sets I give myself an additional six sets that I can use to do whatever I really want to in this push workout as long as I'm doing push exercises. And so today I filled those six sets in with first and foremost three sets of two on L-sit to bend arm handstands. This is something I've been working on for the last few months now and as you guys can see they are not consistent but they are definitely getting a lot better. Right now, I'm also no longer trying to push my way up towards a straight arm handstand because I'm currently just trying to work on my balance at the bottom of the rep. And when I can balance myself consistently at the bottom of my bent arm handstand, that is when I'm going to work my way up towards a L set to a straight arm handstand. And then my last exercise today were some explosive push-ups where I did some decline triple clap push-ups. A couple of weeks ago I actually achieved a double clap push-up and I'm currently working up towards the triple clap and this progression is a very very good way to work on my timing because I feel that that is the only thing right now that is currently holding me back from doing these triple clap push-ups. And on my last set, I just did some normal behind the back clap push-ups to finish off my push workouts and work a bit more on my explosive pushing strength since when you're doing the decline explosive push-up, it really is not that difficult to put myself up high enough to do that exercise. And that is going to be my first push workout of this week and to pretty much put this workout into context once again I'm going to be doing a push workout twice a week and this one is going to be my heavy push workout my most taxing one with the highest recovery costs and then my second push workout of this week is going to be substantially lighter and substantially easier but on this workout I'm really trying to beat PRs towards the end of this training block and the second one is going to be more technique based which you guys will see later on in this full week of working out series and what has changed after my last training block as you guys can see I am currently working on a lot more strength focused training I'm also no longer doing top and back offsets and I'm also trying to stay away from total failure as much as possible but I'm probably going to make uh, a different video about this or talk about this more in future videos so that you guys know why I'm actually doing that and with that being said let's actually finish off today's video so as always like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and share the video if you have any more video ideas questions or advice leave it down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video as always Tuesday Thursday and Sunday three videos a week thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video latest